unapata mama alifanyiwa operation jana lakini amekaa kwa ki kwa kiti tuko na bed kama sita na wamama wanyo wamezaa nomo ni watu kama 60 sasa inabidi ni ngumu wengine walale chini wengine wakae kwa ki kwa kiti there is no respect there is no dignity at home and there is no privacy delivering is something very intimate giving birth is something very intimate painful cries faces of rejection poor kenyans who have lost hope in the system this is what happens when our nature to nurture gets corrupted this is the sad story of matano healthcare at nairobi's county referral hospital mama lucy kibagi this is the crib of death Mamalusi Kibaki Hospital, one of Nairobi City County's referral hospitals, is meant to serve approximately 1 million residents living in the eastern part of Nairobi. With the free maternity project launched in 2013 by the national government, expectant mothers continue to flock the hospital in search of healthcare of the highest attainable quality as per their constitutional right. The situation however is far from that. Many patients have different tales to tell. For weeks, KTN News investigative unit went undercover at Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital following complaints by mothers who were seeking delivery services at the hospital. Tens of mothers walk in and out of the sick bay at the hospital. At the maternity ward, it is a flurry of activity. Occasionally, families have to carry their pregnant mothers to the ward. Hidden camera videos taken by KTN News in the wards reveal up to three mothers who have just delivered or are about to give life, sharing a bed. And sometimes, due to congestion, some are forced to stand or sit on the benches. A patient who's had major surgery like that, to be told to sit on a chair, and that is her place, that is her bed, I think is criminal. It's not right at all. Because this is subjecting this person who's undergone trauma. Because surgery is trauma, huge trauma, um, and to subjecting her to sit there, that that is a position that is grossly unfair. Kuna wale wenye waliweza kuzalia kwa cho na watoto wakakufa ambayo ilikuwa uzuni sana. Ukiangalia kama umesha maliza kuzaa mnapelewa another room, hiyo room, hakuna kulala maybe we ulishonwa kuna shida hawezi lala unakaa unasimama kitanda unalalisha tu watoto hata five kila kitanda watoto watano tano ama sita sita daktari yako leba ward ni wawili nurses ni waine sasa unapata na wamama ni we ni wengi na room ya kuangalia ku review wa mama ni ndogo sasa inabidi wakae hapo kwa bench umalizana na wengine ndio hao waingi waingie kama katika chumba cha kuzalia cha wamama utakuta wamama wa wengi wanaojifungua wakijifungua wengi wanalazimika kulala chini na ukienda group ya CS unapata wenye wamefanyiwa CS mchana wamefanya CS kama kumi usiku wakuja wafanye kama kumi na room za CS ni ta, tatu na kila room iko na beti ine ine sasa wote wanaenda wana, wanaishia bedroom 3 and um, it's paradoxical that a country developing country uh, like Kenya we train doctors and we can't employ them it is it is mind boggling whereas developing countries are actually training their own and poaching doctors from developed de developing countries so there's something wrong with the way we are doing our things we train nurses and we can't employ them a few meters from the maternity ward we hear screams <laughs> following the sounds of pain 
What we found was beyond shocking. A young mother was writhing in pain trying to deliver her baby on the cold floor of the hospital. For minutes, our camera records. We do not know when it all began, but there were still no nurses or doctors to help the mother crying for help. Other patients continue screaming as they call for help. The husband looking puzzled. He can be heard asking for a pair of scissors or a razor blade to cut the hanging umbilical cord himself. For more than 15 minutes we recorded the unfolding scenario and at last the nurses show up carrying the baby and the mother away. Tumefika atuoni daktari tuneza uliza ama mtiote tuneza consult atuambie vile tutaenda. Sabo misi denda mama lusi tena jio uzazi. Apo, tukua tu hapo kwa koridon, tukua tumesimama, ukapata tunona madakitari tu, wanapita, wanapita. Sasa madamu ukapata sasa uchungu imekuwa mingi, hakaanza kupigandura na sema mtoto. Sasa napia mimi nikita na daktari. Watu ingina walikuwa nga uko usi, wakakuja hapo sasa. Wakaanza kupiganduru, wakapiganduru, sasa mama haka jifunguli hapo kwa koridon. Iyo kuita na daktari, ndio walika, wali take like 30 minutes. Juni liona daktari mmoja venye alisikia meitwa akakimbia hivyo. Na hiyo saidi ya leba wao. Lakini mwenye alitudumia ni mwenye alikuwa anapita tu. Number one there is no respect. There is no dignity at home and there is no privacy. Delivering is something very intimate. Giving birth is something very intimate. So when you are in a stage where you are delivering and other people are watching you other patients are watching you. It's not something which is very good. And by the way, I'm not very sure any of our MCS or even our ministers can come to deliver in a public hospital. The day they decide they are going to deliver there and see the conditions that are there is when they will actually invest money in them. But so long as they can hop out of the country to go, you know, wherever for treatment, our government institutions are going to be the same. KTN News later learned that the family had first taken the mother to Pumwani Hospital before moving her to Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital. Kaka, madama karudia kaniambia, iniambiwa njia, ajafunguka, na tutaenda nyumbani. Hapo mimi nilikuwa na maswali mingi kwa sababu, na jaribu kuimagine ili uchungu alikuwa nao, tikitoka kwa nyumba, na badu ili uchungu naona akiwa nao. Na imagine tunambwa turudi kwa nyumba. Ukapata hiyo kitu ilikuwa inanitia wasiwasi kwa sababu mimi kama mtu na naogopa kuenda na mtu mwenye ya kona hiyo maumivu. Kurudisha hiyo resort ya scan wakaniambia sabu njiangu ijafunguka. Waezi ni admit, ni kamuambia ni kona uchungu sana na hiyo uchungu ni anini. Hakaniambia, aezi ni admit na alikuwa naniambia akiwa na ukali sana. The child did not make it. This poor family has been left in deep thoughts as the 24-year-old mother tries to come in terms with the tragedy. When we were on time, we were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. Because now, we were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. We were able to get out of the way. Unfortunately, we were able to get out of the way. Kaenda wakapele kwa huko, sijuwe kaenda kufinyo finyo hivi. Nikama wanataka kuwana kama nezarudi. Nema mama sa hiyo wamebleed sabudamu enye likuwe na mwagika hapo ilikuwa nga mingi. Saa mama kapele kwa kwa ward. Na kuambia wali take like 30 minutes ndo wakuji. Ndo wakuji hapo sasa kuniudumia. Wenye wali kwa naniudumia ni patients. 
I was in Kenyatta last week on uh, Friday. I was on call. And in the night, we had four nurses. Four nurses amongst maybe 30 or maybe 40 patients. Is that enough? It is not enough. Ideally, the ratio of nurse to patient should be one to two or one to three. And here we have four nurses amongst 30 or so delivering patients, all in different stages, all with different issues. And then apart from that, we also have in KNH, we also do about 10 to 15 cesarean sections a day. So is that enough? Absolutely not enough. Do we have enough doctors on the ground? No, we don't have. Documents from Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital, however, say that the child was delivered on the way to the hospital. She did it while bleeding, yes, this cut eye. Okasema, Pochino Kasema post delivery on the way to hospital, which is which is a lie. Sabusisi, Mkango Kipatam Toto, and Kutuluko Nani Kwa. At Likwa two ko apo kwa corridor takakupanda twenty four word. Sasa yon yo sasa at I kun fraisha yo wongo liandikapo. On the other side of the hospital is the mortuary. Another family is complaining about the death of their newborn baby. Our hidden cameras show one of the security guards attending to one of the infants. The family is asking to see that child. This carton we see here contains bodies of dead babies who have passed away in the hospital. Our insider tells KTA news that the situation is getting worse by the day. Kids are dying. On a daily basis, uh, they, they pick like uh, approximately 10, 10 fetus. As we are still filming, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko pays an impromptu visit to the hospital. But the mark is hidden in good time, kept far from any inquisitive eye. He was responding to claims by hospital staff and patients of lack of medicine at the facility. Okay. My problem is the county at times pays chems or other suppliers of drugs. Yeah? Then if you bring dawas here, we expect you to be giving patients for free. cameras captured tens of boxes being unloaded in the hospital. As this happened, some of them were put in this black car by the security guards who later cleared the car to leave the premises. Like they have their own pharmacy. I can talk of their, they use their vehicles as pharmacy. After the treatment, they are selling the drugs for you. Just right inside from their car. Yeah. Some security guards continue making it hard for patients to access quality health care. These security guards are said to ask for money from these patients who have come for a scan. Then send them to a specific person working closely with the health provider at the imaging department. Sasa kitu yenye tunajue inakuanga na ufisati ya po mama Lucy, kitu yenye unaita scan. Because scan kwa na watu hata anasema hameandika security hapa iti wanaangalia marisiti za scan, 
As we leave the hospital, we notice this woman brought in in an ambulance. She's driven to the sick bay, waiting to be seen at the triage. We record for almost two hours. She remains in the wheelchair. Not even one nurse or doctor has paid her any attention. Standing helplessly beside her is her daughter. Later, the wheelchair is taken away from them and she sits dejected in the parking lot. Our KTN News team did not witness any handover from the ambulance team to the hospital teams. Later, sympathizers help her daughter to move the patients onto another wheelchair. In the evening, she gives up and calls her relatives, who eventually take her to another hospital. One week later, we meet with this family from Kayole. They are confused. His wife, he says, had given birth to a girl, but she realized that she has twice breastfed a baby boy. So, what happened to the baby girl she gave birth to? In the morning, she came to breastfeed the baby. She found the baby she was breastfeeding is being breastfed by another mother. From there, he came back. So the doctor brought a, 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 a tag, an identity tag. Showed, and they told her our baby is a baby boy. If the hide can document the file showing the male, we'll know there is something on the ground which they are playing around with our minds. Yeah, so it's a serious case. All efforts we made to reach the hospital management for their side of the story were futile. There were mama in outside. They told me, be careful. When you go there, confirm your baby they are exchanging. I didn't know whether it will come to happen to me. Later on is the issue now we are discussing now. Weeks later, we learn that the mother has been sent to Madari Hospital. She is allegedly supposed to be checked following her flare-ups at Mama Lucy Hospital. Most of the videos we recorded cannot be broadcasted, clearly depicting a wanting situation at Nairobi City County's Referral Hospital from the staffing of doctors, nurses and other healthcare personnel to the corruption of security guards and the death of newborn children in the hospital. Nairobi City County has 85 primary level facilities at the sub-counties that are linked to its four county referral facilities, namely Mbagadi, Pumwani, Mutuini and Mamalusi Kibaki hospitals. But the 85 facilities across Kenya's capital city are either underutilized or not utilized at all something that may ease the suffering from the crib of death. Hussein Mohammed, KTN News, Nairobi.